initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. When will the suffering end? Ten. This world was once a land for true love and harmony. Do you really believe that? Seven. Go to hell. You know, six. I'd rather not go back. Five. This is far too much fun. Four. Princess Ferriman, you can look at her all day. She's pretty as a petal, she is. A princess, you say? So that's a uh, young princess of heritage. Royal blood, I presume. Just about as royal as they get. Interesting. Look, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, my, uh, my manners? Um, not, not, not our problem, sir. Uh, let me get the gate. Idiot. <laughs> Oi, John Burr, get your ass to the throne room. Pronto. <laughs> Ugh, how much did I drink last night? It feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. I wonder what the king wants with me. Hold on, there's nothing in here. Someone's nicked my uniform. Just take one. Wouldn't want to be greedy. Pointy. One quid. It's my pencil. Great for writing stuff down. I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not even thirsty. Yeah, right. I can't reach him from here. I'm no god. I can't move it. I'm no god. I can't move it. Lock me in. It doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? Hey, Dr. Jones, no time for love. I 
I think I'd be better off if I tied it to something first. That'll do nicely. Just don't tell Elf and Safety. Off. <laughs> hey Knuckles, look who the cat dragged in. Who's this? A complete stranger? In the castle of all places? Filthy street urchin lurking about in the castle. <laughs> Pond dirt. Dong squirt. <laughs> Never heard of him. Dusty, please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. He's making the place stink of booze. Say this, Shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. Sorry, tiny man. Making any sense? Go on then. What was it? Hornets? Nettles? Working girl? Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. You know, a pinch and producer roots or sort that might even have some down at the market. Look, do you need me to write it down for you? I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give me something to write on, and I'll draw you a picture. <sighs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. He'll know exactly what you mean. Not the 
before you give out good tickets. Come here. <laughs> I'm waiting, lover boy. Look at me, yes, you see me. Yes, Playing on to get, eh? That's fine. Gertie's got all day. Excuse me, sir. What do you do for Tristan? Can you see I'm busy, kid? Hmm. Please, sir. Spare me a penny. <laughs> Whoa there, Echo Man. That's far enough. Don't mind him. His bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got the coin, you best start walking. Still open? We never close. Yay. Here at Fruit for Sale, we pride ourselves on providing the finest range of fresh fruit, exotic spices, and herbal remedies from across the lands. Nowhere else will you find such rarities as the Argonian Bouncing Vine Fruit, Stodgemore Virgin Rose Root, or even the highly sought after Stale Valley Beef Fruit. Although our reputation lies in selling the finest quality imports, we also offer a value range catering to our lesser fortunate customers. Often misshapen, soured, or slightly fungal, our value range of fruit and spices offer the same medical benefits of fresh goods, only with the occasional bouts of vomit. <laughs> I've got to admit, you're kind of adorable. Can't imagine you're half as fun normally. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure looks like it. <laughs> you know, we can't sell spice to miners. <laughs> oh, ain't that cute? The lad's a bit slow. I think he's got something wrong with his face. Oh, right, you think? I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Right, you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? <laughs> Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. One of the furry ones. What do I look like? A bloody charity? Poor lad could do with a break. This is to the whole truth. Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an honest fruit vendor, and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation. I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you. But choose wisely, for while the right fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. <laughs> You have chosen wisely. There you go. The silly shoot two for fruit. The silly shoot two for fruit. So still not use the two for fruit. Sensical mumble as a no. I'm afraid we're all out of the boil remedy. <laughs> Could I tempt you with a rather large hat? Comes with a dash and pink bow. <laughs> I'll give it to you if you just 30 coins. <laughs> Quite a steal, ain't it? <laughs> Come back soon.
I haven't any time for chit-chat. Stop bothering me. Be off with you. <laughs> Oi, keep your wee little hands off. You don't need your hands to look. is worse than his bite, but if you ain't got a coin, you better start walking. <laughs> you still here? Ah, so after some Medusa root I see. Come cost ya, that stuff ain't cheap. <laughs> Ten gold coins. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Wow, I feel better already. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck like that forever. Maybe folk will start taking me more seriously now. Hmm, maybe. Thank you, kind sir. Has, uh, something taken your fancy? Actually, I have a few questions if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Always got time for my paying customers. You've got money, right? 
tell me about yourself, Sam. Well, um, what would you like to know? How about the story behind this here shop? Might you find collection of things you've got? Why, thanks, Tarnbert. Well, it's not that exciting, really. My father is a highly respected scholar and a mean adventurer to boot. He spends his life travelling far and wide, writing great stories of his discoveries. Every few moons he drops by, restocking the shop with all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Most of it is junk, but with the right marketing, you can sell anything. So, that's about it. I've never actually gone with him, but we've sure heard a lot of stories. Wow, so all these things were found on different adventures? That's right. It's like a game to him. Always trying to bring back something new and exciting. Your dad seems like a cool guy. Sure is. You sure have a lot of uh, reserved items? Yep. Folk normally snap up the good stuff early on. If you'd like, I can sign you up to our mailing list. We're GDPR compliant. That way you'll know as soon as we get new stock. That'll be great. Thanks. No problem. I'll drop it by the castle with Barracks. Barrack is a member? Sure is. He picked up a novelty pulley this morning. Awesome! Secret club! Shh! Secrets! <laughs> Thanks for the chat! I'll be damned! Tomba! Now, that's more like it. Can't believe I didn't recognise you for! How'd you mess up your face all like that? Ugh, I've had the worst day, Barrack. Need somebody's ear to bend? I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful birthday shift, I thought it rude but not sample a few of the drunken monk's finer beverages. Wise. This led deep into the night until dawn, for when I thought it appropriate to retreat into my dorm at the castle spire. Unfortunately, it became apparent this morning that I was missing a few things, hence my appearance. Oh? Well, that's a mighty unlucky turn of events, son. You're telling me. On the plus side, though, things can't get much worse. In fact, I've got something that'll make them half inch better. Have a look in the chest. Keys hidden in the usual place. It's locked tight. Barrack said the key is in the usual place. It's so big, I don't know where I'd put it. Should be in here somewhere. Bingo! Aha, so that's where it was. Kept it safe for you, Tondi. My doublet and plates. It's a little crowded here. I'd rather get changed somewhere more private. If you'll excuse me. Ta-da! No time for a tipple. I've got to go and see the king. Isn't it? That's me. And how can I help you today, Tonbet? So, tell me everything you know about the castle. My pleasure. You've come to the right man. I've lived behind these walls since long before any of you folk were born. Simpler times they were. How so? Well, it was all bricks and mortar back in my day. None of these fancy flags and shiny floors. You see, we weren't the first folk to live in Rinklewood. Quite the opposite. What do you mean? Well, long before your king, there was another, 
and another there before. The first king of Wrinklewood was nothing more than a bully and a thief. An entitled rich boy from the Southern Kingdoms who stopped at nothing to get what he desired. A man with absolutely no respect for those who came before him. He ran into town and murdered its occupants, paving the way for his entitled regime. What was once a sacred house of worship became his home. You mean the castle? Exactly. He filled the halls with this cheap tat and paved over the entranceway to the catacombs. You mean to say there are people buried underneath the castle? Doesn't really feel right, does it? Anyway, he didn't last long. Was soon overthrown by one of the Alcafard brothers, Pimbrim. Pimbrim Alcafard was a wicked man. Much like his predecessor, he was interested in little but riches and wealth. Pembrim reigned over Wrinklewood for many years, as I sat by and watched what was once a beautiful civilized town become nothing more than another cog in the Algafard war machine. That's why there's so many of you guards. After the war, there was nothing left to fight for. The Algafard brothers had conquered the lands and left no stone unturned. Soon, Pembrim grew tired, disbanded his post and set course back to the Southern Kingdoms. Of course, someone had to pick up the pieces. That's where Theodore came in. King Theodore, woo! I couldn't have been happier when Theo took the reins. Such a kind fellow. He was exactly what this town needed. That he is. I couldn't imagine a better man for the job. Quite. I could certainly imagine a few worse. Well, I guess that's about it. Any questions? That was very informative. Thanks. Uh, Tom Burt, you're looking better. You guys suck. Did I just hear that, right? Don't appreciate that tone of voice, Tom Burt. But you had me kicked out of the castle, in the blooming Long Johns. No, no. How exactly was we to know that was you? Yeah, you weren't exactly talking proper. Didn't make no sense from what I heard. And yet, normally you're so quick to notice my dwarven roots. A lot of dwarves about. Yeah, you ain't so special. Normally have beards though, wouldn't you say? He's playing silly buggers with you. You looking for an encore? Dusty! No, 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 wait a second. No, I'm really sorry. I was just frustrated. It's, it's been a rough morning. I've overstepped my mark. <laughs> Look, Bobby, shaking. I'm really sorry, guys. I just, I just wanted to see the king. What you want Dusty for? I'm not sure. Do we have a problem here, Tom Burt? Certainly not. No, 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 nada. No, cheers, we're just on my way. It was lovely talking to you fellas. All right, Dusty, that'll be all. Dusty tired. King will be very happy to see you, Tom Ha 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 Here, give him this when you see him. What is it? Nothing fancy, is it? No, 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 nothing. Nothing interesting. No. Just, uh, just some pantry requisition or something. Ha 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 ha. Go on, on your way. Did he take it? Delivering the message as we speak. <laughs> Man, you guys are too hard on him. <laughs> Rather him than me. I'll drink to that. What do you think the king will do? Beats me. It ain't gonna be pretty. Only time will tell. <laughs>